Greetings my friends and today we are going to be unboxing and reviewing this great package from Amazon. So what we have here is a very cheap gimbal that I am going to uh, evaluate for you today. So I'm going to open this box up here. Let's go ahead and change our view. Here we are. We are opening the box. As you can see it's a Cinepeer Here we are. Let's bring this over to the table and open her up. Let's see what we got here. I believe this thing was on sale. I picked it up for about 59 bucks. Uh, all the other reviews I happened to see online were pretty good. So I'm hoping for the best with this cheaper than usual gimbal. Oh my god! Ah, steel plastic. Okay, let's give her an open. Let's see what we got here. It's supposed to come with this stuff. Box is being a bitch. Okay, it has this case that it comes in. It's not the best feeling case. It's quite probably cheap. It's just made out of a styrofoam. It has a very unique texture to it. This is what we got. Came with a cable. Appears to be a standard micro USB. Here's the unit. It's got a nice feel to it. Let's see if it uh, comes with power. Most of the time things, yes, there it is, it's awake. Um, to properly check this sucker, I'm going to have to take my phone out and put it in. So let's go ahead and, uh, there's a process, unfortunately I can't film that at the moment because I only have my one cell phone, but you have to put this in and right there you can see there's an adjust the adjustment thing. Let me turn this off because it's tripping. It wants to balance. You just hold the power button to turn on and off. And uh, you set your phone in here. I'm not, I don't know how much of a, how stuck this particular phone holder is, but I am, I am not a fan of these uh, spring style because as you know, most cell phones are made out of glass these days, and uh, with my previous S7, my Galaxy S7 that I used to have, a, uh, I clamped it in one of these, and it just cracked the heck out of the screen because they put a lot of pressure on your units. So if that's something that's changeable, I will let you know. I have better styles. I mean, it looks like it comes off, but I, I don't know how much the weight matters on this and all that. I would assume it doesn't matter because once you balance it, it's balanced. Anyhow, let's uh, put it in and give it a test run. After a little bit of experimentation, I don't know if this thing likes my Galaxy. Um, it's, I'm using a Note 8. It feels like it's just too heavy for this device. So what I'm going to do is... When I get home, I'm going to get out my um, Galaxy Note 5, which is slightly smaller than this guy, and we're going to see if, it's, uh, if it works out any better. In the meantime, I'm going to put it back in its case. Early and it, it appears to be showing 
low charge. So there may it may be needing a charge to function correctly. I'm not really sure. So we're gonna give it a nice full charge up and try it on a different phone because it does not like my best phone. It's apparently too heavy. I don't know if we can weight it anymore. It said it worked with a Galaxy yeah, Note 8. Maybe I'm just doing something wrong. Ah. I will, of course, read the instructions, and uh, which also came in the box. Like, I followed these easy directions. Clearance isn't good. I think this phone might be too big. Even though the one they show is big and sticks out just like mine. So who knows? Maybe this thing isn't functioning correctly. I'm not really sure. I'm going to charge it all the way up. It is from China. And uh, full charge. We'll see if it operates a little bit better. So let me get back to you. Hey everybody, welcome to part two of my unboxing and um, review of this here Cinepeer gimbal. So, after a couple attempts of getting my Galaxy Note 8 to fit, I gave up. It seems just a little too heavy, even with the thing maxed out, it still wants to lean a little. It may work, it may not work. So one of the mistakes I noticed when I was trying to get this thing together is you got to pay attention to these words right here. If it's upside down, your machine is not correct. So make sure it's facing the correct way and then set your machine to face you and you will slide your phone in to these clampers, which I do, I hate clampers, but that's what it's got. Um, I hate the squish that it does to these glass phones as you can see what it did to mine you know it just totally wrecked it i'm just kidding but i found my galaxy note 5 fits much better in here so now what we will do is you want to balance it which is done by loosening this little screw here and you just move it just tiny little increments until you find where the thing sits pretty balanced and even and straight. And once you've located it, see it's, it's, it's a real fine little spot there to get it. And there it is. So now you will tighten back down. We are balanced and at this point, you can turn on your device. And we will do that. It's done by pressing this power button, holding it down for a little bit. You'll see it wake up. Boop, it's awake. And it starts off in, oh, I forget which mode, but it basically just keeps it nice and straight and perfect. Um, you can turn with it. I think they call this like free follow or something maybe. Um, not a pro on those. So if you press the mode button here twice, one, two, it goes into another form where uh, the look form or whatever, the free look form. I had it locked in a weird position when I pushed it. You want to always make sure you're in the position that you want it when you press it into the modes. Um, if you hold it down, the mode button, it goes into a free mode, so you can adjust it back to, like I said, to a position where you want it. You once again hold down the mode button, and it wakes back up, and it starts again in the free mode. Now, I have not downloaded the app yet. Don't really care about the app. I was just looking for this, but I, I will want to get the app because with the app, you can do a follow mode, which you can lock your target and this sucker will turn and follow it, which I think is a pretty neat feature. So I'm definitely gonna be checking that out. The motors in here are very quiet. 
which is something you want to pay attention to with gimbals, especially if you're trying to actually use the sound you get from this and you're not getting external or overdubs. You want to pay attention to the motors and they are super silent. I do not hear them at all. So I will go ahead and turn on this Galaxy and we will get a few test shots, which I will show you here at the end. And there's my review. I think this thing is going to work out great. I have been playing around with it for the past couple of hours and uh, played around with it a little bit yesterday after I get it functioning. I'm very, very, very satisfied with the movement and the agility of the machine. I've seen video of this thing, you know, running and it stays nice and smooth even in running mode. So, woo, I am satisfied with this $60 unit. Again, it has an internal battery, charges here. You can also flip this little port open on the back if your phone is dying. You can charge your phone right here, the port. I'm always off camera. So, I've also heard rumored that you can use a iPhone cable and plug into this and charge it. I don't know how, I haven't looked into that, but that is what I have heard. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and run some test video now. But I am now running test footage with the gimbal and I will get up and I will walk around with this thing in my hands. I'm walking at a fairly quick pace at the moment to really shake it around. I will jump. jumping with it in my hand I will run a little bit that's on mode one let me try the next mode which I think is like a free form my favorite is mode one it's very steady I can turn everywhere okay mode two press the button twice and it's now the look mode or something nah I haven't really figured this mode out too well yet. But uh, it basically locks on something. And uh, as I walk, it stays locked. It's not bad. And there it is, some test footage. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to the other mode. Okay. Now watch, I will go all the way down. There you have it. I am very satisfied with this $60 unit. Recommend it to anybody who's into filmmaking. You should definitely pick one up. Tell them Heavy Metal Network sent you. This is Ant and I'm out. This is your review. Woo. This does also have another little feature. When you're in this mode, you can use the little toggle button and make it move. As you can see, it does a nice smooth panning. You can go side to side in the other mode. I believe it is. Let's see, double click. Yes, and when you go into that, it will rotate like so. So I'm liking it. Definitely recommend it. Again, Cinespear. Um, it's a sixty. It's on sale on Amazon right now for about sixty dollars free prime shipping if you're into filmmaking and or just want steadier footage from your video it's the way to go also has time-lapse features other weird things added in there that I'm not really familiar with and probably won't use but for what I'm using it for filmmaking steady hand smooth action this was the buy